Hi there, this is Lauren with Restored 316. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Instagram feed plugin so that you can have a live running Instagram feed on your website that will auto update every time you make a new post on Instagram. So the plugin that I'm going to be using is called um, Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed. The name of this used to be called Instagram Feed, um, but they have since changed it because now it's more than just Instagram. You can also add YouTube and other networks um, if you have the pro version of the plugin. But in this tutorial, we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to focus on Instagram. So what you'll do is make sure that um, you have this plugin installed and activated on your website. And then once you do that, you're going to have this new um, space on the left side of your dashboard that now says Instagram feed. Now, um, once you have that here, you'll go to all feeds. And then this is where we're going to begin to set up our new Instagram feed. Now, just to give you kind of a, a precursor of what we're going to be doing here, we're going to create a feed that's going to go in the footer of our website, and then we're also going to create a feed that's going to go in the sidebar. Now, they're going to look different from each other, and that's why we have to create two different feeds. And so you'll see that sort of as we go along here. So the first one that we're going to focus on is the one that we want to put in the footer of our website. And then once we create that feed, I'm going to show you how to place it in the footer of your website as well. So what we're going to do is go to all feeds and I'm going to click on add new and we're going to go through the process of adding a new feed um, for our Instagram. So I'm going to hit add new and by default it's going to have this one selected and these um, ones at the bottom are only available with the pro version of the plugin. So all we need is this one to create um, a user timeline. So I'm going to select that and hit next. And so now it tells me that we need to select one or more sources. I don't have my Instagram synced up with the plugin yet. So that's the first thing we need to do. So I'm going to click add source and it's going to redirect us to another screen. And we have to choose whether we have a personal or a business Instagram account. If you're not sure which one you have, you can click on this little button and it tells you a little bit more about how to find out what you have. But I know um, in my case, I have a personal Instagram. So I'm going to select personal. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I don't want to get their emails. And I'm going to hit log in to Instagram. Now, I'm already logged in, but if you're not logged in, you'll have to enter in your credentials and log in. And then you'll get to this screen. And so I'm just going to click on allow. Okay, and then it's going to take us back to um, this screen and it's just going to confirm that we are in fact the owner of the website that we're trying to add this Instagram feed to. So I'm just going to click on yes, it is my domain and it's going to circle us right back to our website. So now you can see we have our new feed here and so we'll just need to put a check mark next to it in order to proceed. So I'm going to do that and then hit next. And then Instagram does not provide us access to your profile picture or bio for personal accounts. Would you like to set up a custom profile photo and bio? So you can do this if you want to. You would just hit yes, let's do it and follow the prompts. In my case, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to hit no, maybe later. And that is something that you can go in and add later. You don't have to do it at the time that you're setting up this feed. So here is what our feed looks like. And so I want to um, adjust this a little bit to um, look like it'll be in the footer of my website. So basically what I, what I want to happen is to be no header here. I don't want these buttons at the bottom and I want more um, columns of images and no rows because I just want it to go all the way across the bottom of my website and not be multiple rows. So I'm going to go to feed layout and um, we've got grid selected. These other ones are grayed out because they're only available with the pro version, which is fine. We don't need that. Padding is the space between our images. So if we wanted to add a little more space between there, we could. Um, number of posts, I'm going to do, um, let's do eight to start. And then you can also adjust the number of posts that you show on mobile. So if you don't want it to be, um, as long sort of at the bottom of your website, you can adjust this to something like four. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
For columns on desktop, I'm going to choose eight because I just want it to be one row all the way across. And then on tablet, let's go ahead and do four. And then on mobile, we're going to do two. Okay, so on mobile, it would only show four images and they're going to be in columns of two. So it'll just show two images on top of another two images and that will be it instead of um, all eight. All right, so let's go back. We're going to continue to customize. Let's select our header. Um, I'm going to turn that off. So I want to disable that. Um, let's see our load more button. We want to disable that. And then our follow button. We want to disable that as well. Okay, and then um, Lightbox, you can't do anything there in the free version, and then Post, you can't really do anything here either. Um, so we'll leave all of the rest of the settings alone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save, and I'm gonna hit this Embed um, button here, and this is gonna pop up on the screen. And so this will give me a unique short code that we can use that only pertains to the feed that we just created. Um, so wherever we place the short code, it will show all the settings that we just did. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. All right, so now we have um, our feet. So now let's get it added to the footer of our website. So if I go to appearance and then customize, we're going to first look at the format of our footer. So I'm going to go into customize and I'm going to go to footer. And also a real quick note here is um, I am using the create theme from Restored 316 and this is using um, Cadence, the Cadence framework as our base. And so that's what's giving us these options that we see here on the screen. So in the footer area, you can see down here, we have three different rows of content. So we have the first row, it has one widget in it that goes all the way across the top. And that's where we have this um, full width subscription box. In the second row, we have our widget two, three, four, five, and six, and this is this whole area. And then in the third, we have um, uh, the footer navigation, our social media icons, and our copyright. So what I can do is I know in this top row, I can use this widget one space in order to add my feed because this is already going all the way across the screen. So from here we can go to appearance and then widgets and then here we can edit our widget one our footer one widget space so i'm going to go to footer one and inside of here you can see we have this um, full width subscription box now below it i am going to hit the plus icon and i'm going to search for short code and i'm going to paste in the code that i copied from uh, creating my instagram feed now I actually wanna push this up. I want this to be on top of this subscription box. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it up one and then I'm going to hit update. And then we can go back to the home page of our site and refresh. And you'll see here that now we have um, our Instagram feed in there. Now a couple of issues that we're seeing here is it's not full width, which we want it to be. So we're gonna go back to our customizer and fix that. So appearance and customize and we're going to go to footer and we're gonna select this very first row again. So in this case, we actually want it to be full width. That's what's gonna stretch it across for us. And then um, let's see here. We also, let's get rid of this background. So I'm gonna remove this and just change it to white. And you'll see here it's disappeared. Sometimes the editor can be a little glitchy, but if you just publish and go refresh the front end of your site, you'll see the changes live on, um, on the front end. So that's more along the lines of what we want. Now at any time I can go into that Instagram feed and adjust it. So I can say, you know, these images are kind of big. I actually like them to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more images. Okay. So let's go back to our Instagram feed. Now you can see what it looks like when we go back here, we have our feed here that we just created and I'm going to click on this little pencil to edit. Okay. And then again, we can go back to our feed layout and I'm going to go ahead and add two. And on desktop, I'm going to change this to 10 on desktop and five on tablet. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. And since we've already placed that short code on the page, it will auto update for me here at the bottom. Okay, so that's how we'll get it into the footer of our site. But the next thing we wanna do is create another feed so that we can put it here on the sidebar. So I'm going to go to all feeds and we are going to add new. We're gonna choose the user timeline and go to next. We're gonna choose this source that we've already added and go next. And we're gonna do no, maybe later for our bio and profile. Okay, and for our feed layout, we're going to um, just show nine images here. And then we're also gonna show nine on mobile. And then on desktop, we're gonna do columns of three on tablet columns of three and mobile, we'll do columns of three. Okay, so let's go back. And um, because I didn't set up my header with my profile picture and my bio, I don't want this header to be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable the header. And you can see here in this panel, when you have this enabled, you can um, adjust all of these things. So you can add your own avatar image, you can add your own bio text here if you want to show this on the sidebar of your site. Um, I just prefer it not to be there because they can read all of that stuff when they actually click the follow button, which is really what we want them to do at the bottom of this feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and disable the load more button but I'm gonna keep the follow on Instagram button. So um, we'll go ahead and keep that. But in here we can adjust the colors of that button if you want to. So you'll just get the hex color code of whatever color you would like for this button to be. Um, and you can also do the hover text as well so that it will match your website a little bit better, okay? All right, I'm actually going to click on this little pencil here and then we can change the name of this feed. So I can just do sidebar feed. That way we can tell the difference between the one that we created for the footer and the one that we're creating now for our sidebar. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And then again, I'm going to click embed and I'm gonna copy this code. All right, so let me exit out of there and then now we're gonna go down to appearance and then widgets. And our sidebar that we see here is in sidebar one. So I'm gonna just start editing the sidebar one area, which is at the very top of our screen. And I'm gonna click on this plus icon and I'm gonna search again for short code, the same way we did before. And I will do command V and paste in that Instagram feed and update. And then I can refresh my screen and our new feed will be right here on the sidebar of our website. So that is how you'll add um, an Instagram feed on the footer and sidebar of your website.